Hi guys, Karina from Skip A Lot. Uh, uh, today I'm going to teach you the different toads that you can do in skipping. Um, there's a lot you can do with toads. You can do wraps, you can do mic releases, floats. Um, so there's a whole bunch of other jumps that you can learn as long as you have the basics of how to do a toad. And there's different types of toads. There is the um, uh, you have the normal toad under your leg, you have an elephant, and then you have uh, an inverse toad. And all of these are very foundational if you want to transition to an awesome Annie and to uh, the jump rope movements. Um, so I'm going to show you what works for me. I'm not a coach, uh, I'm just teaching you what I've learned to help anybody that sometimes simplifying things the way that if one person learnt it can help another person. Um, so feel free to comment or send any message if you need any help with something specifically. Um, we are selling our beaded ropes on our website, skipalong.co. We do offer a long bead and short bead, but at the moment on our website we have the long bead, but you may request the short bead. I'm using our Serengeti rope, uh, the two-in-one handle skip a lot rope and it's a Serengeti and you're more than welcome to purchase one on our website. Some of them are also available on Take A Lot. So I hope um, you guys enjoy the rope. Um, but basically, a beaded rope slows down certain movements. It's really efficient for um, building muscle and also for just keeping movement very uh, flexible because some ropes, PVCs don't move the same way as a beaded rope. Um, so anybody that is really serious about skipping should have actually PVC and beaded and enjoy both of them. Um, so I'm going to break down the movement firstly with the original toad, if I can put it that way. And it looks something like this. That's the toad, okay? So the secret of this movement is first of all your leg has to face forward. Sometimes I see people doing the leg sideways, the leg has to face forward forward. That's why I recommend that people record themselves, not just to make posts for social media, but it will help you correct your form. So um, record yourself so you can see your progression. Um, so a toad would be something like this. And when you're jumping over your toad, the most important thing to remember is not to flick your leg back because I did it, everybody does it. <laughs> so um, you have to discipline yourself in your form to remember that that leg needs to remain straight okay so you go over straight like that so your leg doesn't flick because that flicking movement is sort of like trying very desperately to go over the rope without missing the jump and that defeats the purpose of why you want to learn the toad because when you're learning a toad you're going to have lots of movements that will require you to miss the toad you can have wraps you can have mic releases like that, you know, things like that. So you need to make sure that you understand how to jump your toad. So I'm going to do it one more time and practice even without jumping it. Just go like that. So you understand that's where your hand needs to be. And then jump over it, slow motion, over, go. And until you get very, very comfortable, then you can speed it up. Now the elephant. The elephant uh, is relatively easy. You just do a cross under your leg. The same way you would do a cross here when you're skipping, you're literally just taking it under your leg, okay? And same concept, your leg must remain straight after you have done the jump, okay? So over, over, there. Even remember if it helps you, because it helps me keep this leg up longer. Because what people are doing sometimes is, they don't know what to do with this leg because now you've done the jump and you're like, oh, I'm aware of the leg come down because you know your leg has to come down. Only bring it down once you've jumped over the rope once because essentially you are doing the jump in one. That's why it's important to practice jumping on one leg <laughs> so you're nice and strong. So that's the elephant uh, toad. Uh, well, they call it the elephant jump, but I kind of call it the elephant toad because it's sort of conceptually the same. Um, then, the last one is your inverse toad. Uh, it's a bit more complicated because now you're bringing your rope on the outside of your body and you're not crossing here, you're crossing here. So you're essentially bringing your rope like this and 
with your right hand, if you're right-handed, <laughs> your right hand is on top and your left hand is on at the bottom. But if you do it on the other side, then it's your right hand at the bottom, your left hand at the top, okay? Same concept, your leg needs to remain straight. Toads always require you to have your leg facing forward. Krugers require your leg to go sideways, okay? So just remember that because it might help you with your posture. And the same concept with this jump, you're gonna go over, over, okay? You may see how I keep my leg up longer. And don't be afraid to do it slowly because it's better to rather get your form correct and very confident than to carry on skipping and doing a flip movement because it throws off your balance actually and you're learning it wrong. So not saying anybody can do it the way they want. So if you really want to flick your leg, go for it. But it's just that it's really going to help your form with other movements. If you remember, leg up, clear the jump, sorry, clear the jump, and then you can land on both feet. Because essentially, when you have already gone over, over, then you go back to your normal jumping, and you're going to feel a lot more confident. And uh, I hope this helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. Try practice both sides because obviously there will be a side that you're more dominant. I'm right-handed, so I tend to be more dominant right-handed, uh, but it's very good for coordination to practice both. So I hope this video helps you guys. Uh, feel free to go and look at our different ropes. We're gonna be adding a lot more to our collection. We're gonna be shipping internationally the, during the course of this month. Um, and we're super excited and so grateful for all the love and support that we've received from all our clients. And uh, even those who haven't purchased one, if you love Skip a lot, then we're just grateful. And so thank you and hope you enjoy this video.